So the deal is done. He's got his new colours on. He makes his debut in our featured game today. And it's live. Hello, everybody. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. And welcome to the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. And today it's Real Madrid versus Valencia. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Keylor Navas in goal. Rafael Varane starts with Sergio Ramos as the centre backs. Luka Modric starts with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. Karim Benzema is the lone striker today. Valencia will go with this team today. Neto starts in goal. Montoya starts, despite looking shaky in recent games. Jeffrey Condogbia starts, a player struggling for form. And it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. Saw the goal and went for it. That is a supreme save at full stretch. Corner for Valencia. Swung in from the corner. Condogbia. And in he goes with the tackle. He's got his tackle in. And the ball's gone out now. Simone Zaza. Possession is the name of the game for this team. That's a cross the field to try and switch the play. I don't think the coach would be too happy with this. Trying to play in the defensive third quite as much as he's doing. It's Pereira. Coccola. Here's Andres Pereira. Attacking now. Rodrigo. Shot. The keeper's pulled that one out of the bag. Corner for Valencia. Corner's taken. Benzema. Here's Casimiro. Valencia. He's coming forward with some danger. Neatly intercepted. The throw in for Real Madrid. Here's Casemiro. He's got it back again from his teammate. Well read by the defender. It's very good shielding of the ball. Rodrigo. On to the attack now. Good defending. Marcelo. Here's Andreas Pereira. Real Madrid have got a decent result in their last game. It was away from home, and they drew against Deportivo La Coruña. Yeah, a bit of a topsy-turvy two-all draw. But uh, I can see them bouncing back and getting the win they need. Murillo. Here's Zaza. Rodrigo. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Francis Coquelin. Could be awkward if he loses the ball here, and he might do. There's some pressure on him. Has to get it away. Bale. A little private game between the two of them. Murillo. Francis Coquelin. Fouled by Ronaldo. Well, they've got a set piece specialist, haven't they? And this might just suit him. It's very good defending by those 
in the wall to jump to deal with that free kick. Valencia have got a corner now. He's put in the corner. Rodrigo! Navas makes the save here. An easy one. Real Madrid still trying to get an impact onto this game. Antonio Valencia. No stoppage. Play on for Real Madrid, says the ref. Can't lose it here. Montoya. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Well, if you look at the coaching manual, you don't defend like that. He's got caught too. Cristiano Ronaldo! Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Modric. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Kondogbia. Rodrigo. Francis Coquelin. It's Pereira. Keeper. That will end the threat, at least for the moment. Karim Benzema. Well, a big sigh of relief from the defenders that that breakaway was stopped. Rafael Varad. Tony Kroos. have given away a free kick here referee instantly shows the yellow card to the player from Valencia yeah no points about that definite yellow on the move and able to cut out the pass Rodrigo Modric and there is the half time whistle Settling back down here in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Rodrigo. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Oh, that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Here's Andreas Pereira. Tony Kroos. Using his physical power to protect the ball. Valencia. Ronaldo. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. There's some potential in this move. Here's Zaza. Francis Coquela. It's Pereira. Typical of him. Now this looks promising. He's in. It was a real opportunity, but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, well, they really did converge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he's missed it. Francis Coquelin. Rodrigo. Murillo. Barcelona have put out a statement that the transfer is completed. Well, it's a fairly big transfer figure, £40 million or thereabouts, and uh, I think this lad won't be affected by it, though. He'll uh, be able to concentrate on his football and show us what he can do. Got to clear it now. Rodrigo. Guedes. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. On EA Sports, very soon for you. The La Liga fixture. Real Madrid, they'll be hosting Levante. Yeah, some fixtures stand out, and I think this is one of them in the football calendar. He does 
does it all at such pace, Ronaldo. That's wonderful to watch. Valencia's next game, Alan. Well, they're playing Atletico Madrid in their next match in La Liga. And I can't really see too much between the sides. I think it'll be close. Neatly intercepted. Tony Kroos. Modric. Karim Benzema. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Kroos. Aldo. Attacking team not happy about that offside call, but we can see it again here. Well, he is quick, this lad, and he can afford to give himself another yard. He's got a beating of these defenders in a race. That'll be a throw. Maria. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Now the possibility for a cross. This with the chance to go into the lead now. Kondopia! That is one of the great saves. Had no right to stop that. Had no right to get a hand on it. What a stop. All Peters out rather for them. They're trying to dispossess him. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. the shot now we have a corner to come via that deflection it's Real who want to make an alteration but in really for what seemed a certain opening goal oh dear oh dear I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here the shot into the lead they go it's a fine well worked goal from a team that's looking well oiled and looking very well drilled they've been the better side they've played with great panache up to this point and that goal really sums up the way they have been playing excellent they've decided to make a change and being behind you can understand that he could lay it off to the supporting player that's a brilliant challenge Throw in for Real Madrid. Oh, he's real opening now. Oh, they could have increased their advantage then. Yeah, I think that would have been game over. It should have been really from that distance. Real Madrid, a goal adrift, time against them. But they've got such quality still. Well, the crowd are doing the best to urge their players on here. And time is running out. Now it's Valencia getting the ball in the box. He's put it out, it's gone out for a corner. It's an interesting substitution. Rather than continuing the way they're playing, the way they've got into the lead, what we have, we hold move, I think, from the manager now. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Good vision here. In on the goalkeeper. And here they are, on the attack. Decent effort that with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? In control, it's Tony Kroos. Always knows what he's going to do with the ball before he receives it. Well read at a key time for the team here. Here's a chance to attack. Shots off! That's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Dani Parejo. They've gone and won it, Real Madrid. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Rafael Varad. Tony Kroos. Valencia. Valencia. 
that's a great interception. And there it is, it is over. Well, that's it. The dust is settling now, Alan, and beaten. And beaten by this team as well. Yeah, they uh, probably weren't at the best. Well, they certainly weren't at the best today, and they'll be feeling disappointed to, to lose out to their rivals in this manner. Disappointment on his face, really, because he normally has a greater impact than we've seen from him today. I think he'll be a relief man, actually. I mean, he scored plenty of them. La Liga. Getafe 1, Sevilla 0. Real Madrid 0, Valencia 1. Real Sociedad 1, Villarreal 2. Ibar 1, Athletic Bilbao 1. Group stage action for you today, some tension in the air and all the players know exactly what is at stake for them in this game. And quite often in these situations you can find a bit of a stalemate, it's who can be the braver in possession that decides it. Live coverage from the 2018 World Cup for you, it's Portugal against Denmark. Portugal have this starting 11, Anthony Lopez starts in goal. Pepe starts with Daniel Carristo in central defence. So a couple of strikers for them at the front end of the team. Starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel starts in goal. Pierre Emil Hoiberg starts with Christian Eriksen in midfield. And we'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. Getting forward well as a team now. Neatly intercepted. Here's a couple of players who you might keep a special eye out for today. Alan Smith's certainly going to do that. I love watching this pair play. They haven't disappointed this season. They've been the most threatening players for me, for both their teams. This is what we want to see from referees, this kind of advantage. Portugal benefit from it now. Well, I like the look of this attack. And shoots! Good work by the goalkeeper. Here's Hoybjerg.
striding forward purposefully Ericsson to take the lead goalkeeper can only parry it out Anthony Lopez here's the goalkeeper simple save that's good movement forward here trying to get the cross in nearest defender blocked it your position of pressing high up the pitch but they're keeping the ball they've got enough numbers back and now he's looking for some support Bernardo Silva goal kick to come Daniel Vass and here they are on the attack Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. And here's the shot. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Paulson! Given that he tried to place it, he got it rather wrong. Yeah, probably did choose the wrong option. Should have tried to get some power behind that shot. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Andre Silva. Well, now they've got the ball. What are they going to do with it? Christian Eriksen. Sister. That would have been a foul, but the referee lets the game go on. Good advantage. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went to straight to an opponent. Makes the challenge here. Bruno Fernandez. Andre Silva. Ronaldo. And that's offside, Cristiano Ronaldo. He can afford to give those defenders a yard or two, you know, because he's quicker than them. Challenges for the ball. And he's given the free kick. away well away from goal it's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions break quickly when they get possession easy save for Schmeichel typical Ronaldo he wants to take them on and there is some uh, shots on here saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. Here's Danilo. Good clearance. He's got his shot off now. Oh, Kasper Schmeichel saves it. Coming up now, a corner. Gone short with the corner. I do like this referee, he's playing the advantage all the time and he's given Portugal one now. Well, he's gone and got the ball in that wide area there. Little piece of interplay between the two. He might be through. Sesto! Chance taken, goal, they're in front. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Fernandez. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. This is not the best of Portugal by any means. They've got to try and find a way to get a foothold into this game. They've still got the 
potential. He's certainly got the talent to turn the... Punched away by the goalkeeper. Two more minutes to play of added time. Two minutes of added time. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. He wants to play on the shoulder of the last defender. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. And that's half time. Now the second period, the second half is underway. Getting into an advanced position, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now Danilo Pereira. Guerrero. Pizzi. Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva. That's neatly done. Good challenge by the defender. Very good control, though. Daniel Vass. And it's with Danilo. It's Bernardo Silva. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, and what a good time to score that was. Uh, put his side in the lead. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. And now the shot! He's blocked that well. Now Bernardo Silva. Good forward play from them. Across from Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, that's good defending. Christian Eriksen. Daniel Vass. Guided through by Eriksen. Paulson. Paulson! Magnificent from the goalkeeper. Well, it's all about positioning and spreading his body. Top class keeping. He's put in the corner, cleared away by the defender. Christensen. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. Well, they're in a good position here. Promising build up until that challenge. It's Bernardo Silva. And that's uh, Ronaldo just running out of play then. They've decided to make a change. And being behind, you can understand that. Delaney. Played forward. A bit of menace in this attack. It's a free kick here in a scoring position. There's no doubt about that. Well, with him, you know he's going to go for goal, but he's had better efforts, many of them. I'd be surprised if he is allowed to take the next one after that. Quick-witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Possession with Portugal now. And now Bernardo Silva. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. That'll be a free kick. Ankerson. Christian Eriksen. And intercepted by Cristiano Ronaldo. Eriksen. Delaney. Now 
Now this looks promising. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Oh, charge down. Pepe's clearance. Headed down to a teammate. Off the pace in the first half, Portugal. And second best in the second half. So, when you're like that, you do expect to be beaten. And that's what's going to happen, bar a miracle in the closing minutes. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Strong, powerful clearance. Semedo. Rafael Guerrero. Keeping an eye on the time here. We still could have a decisive moment in the short time that remains. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. He's got his shot off now. And they've cut it out. Delaney. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. He's in. A low ball into the box, far too close across to the keeper. You know, this could be the last chance for them to salvage something from this match. Schoener. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Michael Corandelli. Steered through. Eriksson. He comes out off the goalkeeper. Referee says that's that. Is it a case of...